What it does been here back in the arena for another set of gameplay and it's been a while uh, i've been busy with digital drawing and a lot of work stuff coming in but you're not here for that right you're here for the magic deck well i'm back with my new version of the esper control deck and we're featuring cards from new capena just a little bit of that and uh yeah we're here to control the board, control the player, control their hands in some ways, so we could actually win the game. And this deck, I, I brand it as a meta disruptor. It disrupts the meta nowadays where there's been a lot of creatures. And yeah, I mean, I've seen boards flooded with tokens and all. But now we have this, so you can enjoy the game and piss off your opponent again so like i always do i subdivide my deck into columns so you can fully understand and how it works um i brand this deck as kesara sara uh why because it revolves around this card uh keza ogur of agonies where you draw a card target opponent loses one life and you gain one life how do you win? Well, you control the board first, you get a lot of lands on board, then you kill him with even the score. You draw a lot of cards, you use Professor Onyx with all your spells, and that's it. That's how you kill him. You may sound it's a long process, right? Yes, it is. It's a boring deck, but it works. Believe me. Okay, so let's get it on. But before, of course, we get on with the deck build, a simple reminder for you to support the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support this channel. Comment down below for any suggestions on how to improve this deck or suggest a build you want me to feature. Don't forget to share this to your friends who are into Magic the Gathering. And if you are into dark art and poetry, visit my website, poetdustbin.com. I also showcase my decks there. Link in the description. And if you want a dedicated MTG Arena site, go to mtgarena.org where all my gameplays are uploaded. Now, back to the deck build. Okay, we're back. Back again in the deck. So, here's the build. For our first column, we have our uh, creature control uh, cards wherein you control or you do whatever you want for creatures. This is target base, okay? And we have here our counter spells and uh, manipulation of the player where you, when they cast, you disrupt them or you make them discard. And in here, we have our draw cards where it's mostly uh, our <coughs> some of it which will help us get the cards that we need. And we have our only one creature here which is Keza, Ogor of Agonies. Uh, you know, whenever you draw a card, target upon lose one life and you gain one life. Simple, right? And we have here, of course, <clears throat> my beautiful set of mass removal. Yep, we're here to empty the board and make them weep. And we have here my special set of VIPs. I always call them VIPs. This is the um, Planeswalker. Yep, planes walker. I think I'm having problems with that. Okay, so we have um Lolt Spider Queen. We have three copies of uh you know Professor Onyx. That's it. And the special lands and some lands. Okay, so we do three copies of Fading Hope. You know this. Bounce the creature, you scry. We have blood chipsters, destroy the creature with smaller uh, mana value and pay the kicker, destroy the bigger ones. Vanishing Burst, you exile target monocolored permanent. Remember, monocolored permanent, okay? Uh, I only have two of these, two copies of these. Why? Because there's been a lot of uh, multicolored permanent nowadays, so it's a bit useless. Not really useless, but typically you just need a few of these to get it. And we have Obscura Charm, 
uh, three copies of this. Uh, why? I don't have anything to return. Uh, but you can act with counter target instant sorcery spell or destroy target creature or planeswalker with mana value zero less. This is pretty useful for uh, Aito and that red black planeswalker that I hate a lot. I've had Void Rend. This is a very powerful card. Um, you just have to be worry, uh, worry about the uh, mana value because you gotta have a white, a blue, and a black. This spell can't be countered, so it's either they interact with their creature or it's gone. And we have a March of the Red Sorrow. Uh, this card has worked wonders for me. Uh, whenever you're down to one or something, you can actually target a creature and just spend all the money you want to gain back your life. And at the second column, we have the counters. We only have a few of them since we're uh, focusing on removing the board. Uh, there's only a case of case base when you want to you know, save your Keza getting killed or exiled. Two copies of Negate, counter target non creature spell. Two copies of Death of Talents, very useful. Um, <clears throat> You, you know, counter target instant or sorcery spell such as controllers, graveyard, hand, and library for any number of cards with the same name. So, <clears throat> you know what it does, right? The invoke cards. Yeah, very useful. And we have two go blanks. Um, why? <clears throat> why? Um, I'm not really targeting their hands. I'm targeting their graveyard. It is a uh, one card. Uh, Double targets, target their hands, target their graveyard. In some of days, we have a lot of creatures and a lot of uh, flashbacks or other cards that depends on the graveyards. Uh, uh, Bellum, uh, I don't know, the red white dragon that's haze that you invoke. Yeah. Nifty card. And we have two Sunset Travelry. I, I put it in the column where you can draw, but it's also a life gainer and you also create tokens when. Uh, you have not, not, no creatures in the battlefield. They have a lot of creatures in the battlefield. So, very useful. You gain 4 life if your low, life is lower than them. And if you have uh, a fewer cards in your hand, if you have fewer cards in your hand, you get to draw 2. And we have a Tainted Indulgence. You draw 2 cards and discard a card unless there are 5 or more mana values among cards in your graveyard. Pretty nifty too. It's an instant. As you can see, I always use an instant uh, spell for drawing cards because you don't want to waste the mana on your turn. You always want to be on alert. Control players, right? And we have Behold the Universe. Uh, useful in the early portion of the game. You can just foretell it and just leave it there. So you can use it when you need to draw. And we have our... Uh, a few people use this, but... I want to use this. It's uh, even the score. Uh, since it's going to be a long game, we're going to have a lot of mana on board, hopefully, where you can draw X cards. Uh, I really don't mind the other bonus that when they draw four or more cards this turn, which rarely happens, uh, you get to pay nothing but just draw everything your mana spent. Okay. So, yeah. And we have Kesa, Ogre, Bagonis. This two. They work well with these two again. <clears throat> and every time you draw, of course, you can draw a face. They get to lose one life and you gain one life. And for our mass removals, we have Path of Peril. Uh, for those small creatures in the early games, you get cast for three. And <clears throat> at the later games, later portion of the games, you get to cast it to destroy all creatures. We have Doom Scar, of course. It works. We have Farewell, of course. Uh, this is one of my favorite removals in white. Uh, it exiles everything except for Planeswalkers. How do you target Planeswalkers? Where well, we have Void Rend, uh, Vanishing Burst, uh, hopefully Obscure Charm, and we have Blood Sheepsters. We also have Blood on the Stove when they are for, uh, you know, when the board is full of a lot of things like Planeswalkers and creatures. You get to remove it, and hopefully, uh, we get to get back some of our. Uh, uh, planeswalker on board too or maybe Kesa. and of course we have meat hook massacre no control deck an esper or demir deck they can't live without this the meat hook massacre 
is really cool. Uh, each creature gets minus X minus X until the end of turn. When a creature you control dies, which rarely happens on my turf, uh, opponent loses one life. When the creature dies, you gain one life. Of course. And we have our VIPs, Lolt, Spider Queen. Uh, we're mostly uh, cons uh, we're mostly after mostly after. Ugh. Uh, you draw a card and you lose one life. This is for Kesa too. And we have Professor Onyx, uh, the mage cap thing. That's what we're after. So we don't mind losing one life every time we draw. And mind you, uh, there are a like, couple of games where I use the ultimate minus eight here. And it's just awesome. And we have our special land cards. We have El Jano. I, I'm sorry. A Janjo. A Ganjo. Oh, God, why do they make cards? It's so hard to pronounce. A Ganjo Seed of Empire. It's a channel uh, land card. You discard it, it deals 4 damage to attacking or blocking creatures. We have Hall of Storm Giants. You know this, the 7-7 seven, seven, uh, giant creature that has Ward 3 in the attack. But you have to pay 6 on that. Uh, we have the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Another creature land, a land creature, creature land one. You know, uh, pay 4. It's a 3-3 three, three, uh, Black Beholder creature with Venice. And it kills uh, cards from your graveyard. Eats it up. And we have Emiria Squall. Very useful card at the end game when you cast 4-4-2 four, for four, uh, four, White Angel Warrior tokens. Okay. And of course, <clears throat> one of our cool cards too we have here, Seagate Restoration. Also useful to feed on uh, Keza. Yeah, it's kind of useful in that term. And of course, we have Lance. Lance, yeah, Lance. We have um, uh, Philip Ruins, Three of them to destroy those uh, other man lands. Um, our tri lands here, we have our Rakhine's Tower that produces black, blue, white. You can also cycle it. We have four of these, of course, very useful. And we have Shipwreck Marsh, the blue black, Shattered Sanctum, white black, um, Desert Beach for blue white. We have all the bells and whistles and lands, so. It's not the cheap deck, actually, <laughs> but it works. Anyway, uh, I think that's it for the uh, introduction. It's been long. Uh, you're here for the game, right? So let's get it on with the game. Thank you. Game time. Game number one. We hope you piss off some opponents here. Or either way, I get to be the one get get pissed, right? We're up against Necrosis. Oh, Lord. Oh, look at that. A good set of hands. Uh, I think we're keeping this one. Keep. Seven. Black. Put down uh, the tri land. We don't have any draw cards yet. We have to put in all of Storm Giants in it. There you go. Oh. This one. I always have that, uh, you know. Don't tell me it's gonna put on it. If this is a discard deck, we're screwed, man. We're really screwed. There you go. Put it down, boy. A mirror box. Ah, I see. You can't destroy that one, right? Okay. Ooh, look at that. This one like what? So, um, let's kill this one. Slow game, man. Work class. <laughs> okay, excuse me. Yeah, what was that? Oh, I'm gonna have a hard time doing that.
there you go so i have a problem here we can actually cast this one so we can draw 10 let's just do that one right now it's a bit of a risk because but we can get attacked by one and they can put on the invoke card but i have to take that risk man I have to that dope man go ahead this is a one kill game transform Ooh, really okay so what do we do um we do this one My ears are itching, I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell is that? <coughs> He's gonna be really, really pissed off when I do this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, yeah, boy. Ooh, yeah. Uh huh? Uh, take a little beer. <laughs> I got a lot in hands, man. Massacre. Oh, well. Not bothering you. Mirror box. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this one. There you go. <clears throat> oh, come on, just got. What the hell is that? No. Uh, no. Uh, 
I want to draw. to fight man really oh, you're not gonna kill my creature man <clears throat> no Discard. <laughs> uh, it's okay. So. Mamma mia! Okay. on with the game after against ace man i go first hallelujah man does that mean anything no at least i go first right don't tell me it's gonna be black again It's gonna be better. Hmm, Talia. It's a savior, actually. to kill this guy. That's good enough. That's good enough. 
don't put on another Talia, please. No. Oh, come on! That sucks. Ooh. <clears throat> Begin the game, boys. Okay. Oh, look at that. Uh, we need to draw something. I want him to put a lap up. Come on. Well, Welcome to Witherbloom College. Go digging. The 
the boring deck. But it does its job. Next game, please. Play the game, boys. White. Uh, that's not good, honestly. We're gonna need uh, a removal. Yep, a big one too. to draw I'm just gonna put down a big one good enough gonna be alive by then right let's do this one kill 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 gonna be a tough tell okay. <clears throat> we need to kill both but first we need to do this one Cannot be denied. Huh? Enough. All of you. So what do we do? Double, double,
Yes! <laughs> you just quit the angels, man. I got him. Scored. Well, that's all we have for today. Uh, it's been a long night, and uh, I've encountered some decks that are really, really, really hard to beat. But. Uh, I seem to improve this uh, build, uh, maybe add some couple of uh, draw cards, and um, yep. I'm going to make a toned down deck of this, 60 cards, but when it comes to Aspirin and, and making control decks, I always make it a point to make it 1080 deck cards for, so you can put in all the spells and wishes that you like. Anyway, that's it for the day. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, support me, and uh, try to keep on making these videos. Gameplays, I mean. And don't forget to visit my website, poeticdustbin.com, if you're into dark arts. Dark poetry and everything dark. And also mtgarena.org, where all my gameplays are being posted there. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, good, day, good night, humans. Uh, sayonara. See the next video.